call the regularly scheduled post-election uh, meeting of the Sunderland Select Board to order at 631. Uh, we're fidgeting away, and that's a good thing. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'll take just one minute before we, we, we reorganize to thank everybody who turned out to vote. There's a lot of voting, according to the town clerk, like 184 people voted, which is more than a normal non-contested election. So the system worked well. There's a lot of work that went into it. And I thank the town clerk and everybody else who worked on that and uh, the people who actually took the time to try that system out. So thanks for that. And uh, we'll talk about town meeting in just a minute. But beforehand, uh, congratulate Tom on being reelected. And our first order of business is to turn the meeting over turn the meeting over to Jeff so uh, the board can reorganize. So I'll do that now. Thank you. So um, do I have any nominations for chair? Dave Pierce. Second. Uh, any other nominations for chair? The nominations be closed. Second. Uh, all those in favor of closing the nominations? Aye. 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 Uh, all those in favor of uh, Mr. Pierce to serve as chair? Aye. Aye. Is a roll call vote? Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Bergeron? Aye. Mr. Feiden Kevitz? Aye. Mr. Pierce? Aye. Excellent. Congratulations, David. Thank you. <laughs> do, I, do I hear any nominations for vice chair? Uh, move Tom Feiden Kevitz. Second. Move the nominations are closed. Second. All those in favor of closing the nominations? Aye. Aye. Uh, roll call vote for vice chair. Um, Mr. Bergeron? Aye. Mr. Pierce? Aye. Mr. Feigen Kevitz? Abstain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Excellent. Uh, do I hear any nominations for clerk? Uh, no, no, no. Mr. Bergeron. Do I hear a second? Second. Will the nominations be closed? Second. Uh, all those in favor of closing the nominations? Aye. 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 All right. Um, and then a roll call vote for clerk, Mr. Pierce. Aye. Mr. Feiden Kevitz. Aye. Mr. Bergeron. Aye. All right. Unanimous. <laughs> and with that, I believe I can turn the meeting over to the new chair. Well, I'll, uh, I'll stand on tradition here, and we usually allow the okay. existing chair to, f to finish out the meeting. So. Good decision, Thank Mr. New Chair. Uh, you know, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, hey, David. I you gotta like you gotta that like that management that. style, huh, Scott? Yeah, <laughs> always do. Top down, yeah. Tom. Top down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, thanks for thanks for uh, letting me finish the meeting out. Uh, we have a relatively light agenda tonight. Uh, we're going to recap uh, annual town meeting highlights, events, things that uh, we thought uh, went really well, things that we thought maybe could be improved upon. Uh, we have an appointment for select board uh, rep for police negotiations. There's actually a meeting scheduled. I want to thank the police union uh, for being flexible. Uh, they asked for this weird due for this months ago and uh, we asked for uh, some forgiveness in that we were without a town administrator at the time and that's how long it's been and uh, they were flexible in that but now they want to and rightly so uh, get those negotiations rolling and I think it's it's really it's this Thursday isn't it Jeff uh, Wednesday I believe 
Wednesday. Okay, this Wednesday. Um, so for that, uh, uh, we need a we need an appointment uh, of a select board member uh, to represent the town uh, with the police chiefs and with Jeff uh, to negotiate a contract labor contract uh, with the police union. And I'll entertain any discussion around that. I, I, I would I'm I'm going to recommend that we we have you do it again. I mean you've done our last three or four. If you're willing to do it, I would. Uh, I, th I think there's advantages to consistency because of the conversations. We, uh, Jeff's the new town administrator, so, um, and, and Eric's still a, a relatively new chief for, on the contract. So if you would be willing, I would, uh, I would like to nominate you. David, any thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I would second that. I would agree. I think, you know, it's good to have a, a consistent face in those, in those types of negotiations, if you don't mind. That's, that's fine. I, I appreciate both the vote of confidence and I agree with the sentiment uh, that, you know, I can actually do a marginally good job on occasion, but consistency is good. <laughs> yeah. Does help. Okay. So if that's, that's the case and, you know, uh, motion to motion to appoint me as the uh, rep for a police negotiation of the Slender Select Board. Motion for discussion. Second. Uh, okay. Motion is made and seconded for discussion. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, and, and but I, I'd like to add on that. I, I think I, I think uh, the the rapport that you have with the uh, um, the, the on the negotiating contract, I think it's a uh, it's a value, Scott. I, I you know the, the familiarity is is great, but I think the rapport, um, the establishment that you have, I think that I think. Uh, we haven't used a town council in a while. Right. Um, and I, I think that you and the town administrator and uh, the police uh, union rep um, have a, have a good report. Um, you, you, you discuss very um, point blank um, conversation topics. Um, and I think that's, you know, you're not afraid to, to, to take on those hard items. I think that's, I think that's a, uh, more contracts should be done that way. So I, I think there's a lot of reason besides that you've done it for three or four times. Thank you, Mr. Chair, or ex-chair, whatever we are. Right now. <laughs> clerking. I'm clerking tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I appreciate the comments. Uh, any more discussion around that? If not, uh, sir, uh, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. Okay, Jeff, we'll, we'll key in. And if you could uh, send me another copy of the most current uh, contract, that would be helpful. Okay, uh, June 1st minutes, and then we'll move on to some of the um, annual town meeting piece. Motion to accept as uh, submitted. Second. It's a motion made and second to accept as submitted. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, there's the minutes. Tom, you want to talk uh, about uh, annual town meeting, what we learned, what we saw, and. Um, I I would I yes, Scott. If I could, I would a I would like to um, express. Um, a deep appreciation to the uh, individuals that um, turned out. Um, more so, um, we had elections that in that morning, and then we continued in the afternoon with town meeting. I think we are. I I think. Actually, I know that we're very very fortunate in our town um, that we have. Um, a great a great group of of residents that are willing to to pick up um and and to and to react when things aren't the same and in fact i i received a couple of telephone calls from uh other selectmen in other towns they read about our town meeting um in the newspaper um and they saw the drone pictures and they liked how it was set up um I just think that we're extremely lucky, and I'm 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 also I'm also reminded um, how fragile democracy is. 
you know, the things that are going on right now, democracy is a fragile thing and it, and it really needs, and, and, and only need, it, it needs and it thrives on participation and right. discussion and mm-hmm. um, the willing to, to, to allow people the opportunity to listen and to talk. So I, I think it was, it, Scott, for, if you told me two weeks ago that we could, we could go from basically to utter chaos to where we're having a town meeting and it worked as well as it did, um, I would tell you inside, I knew it was going to happen because of the people that we have. And, and, and that, that includes our, our town clerk, Wendy, that includes Catherine over at the uh, library, who, uh, Teresa, uh, Cindy, Jeff, Eric, um, our highway department, uh, Jim Ewan from the rec, rec department. I, I can't, I, I, I know I, I miss people, but without their help and without them being here to do what they did, it would never have happened. So I'd like to just thank everyone. Took a lot of people in the pitch in, and it was great. Good points, uh, Tom. I'd add uh, FCAT, recognizing that um, sound and uh, production could be an issue outdoors and that kind of a scale rose to the occasion as well. Called in extra help and uh, called in some uh, audio support, and that was all quite good. But you're right about the depth of the town um, and its depth. The strengths of the town and its residents. You know, when it comes time to pitching in, Sunderland certainly doesn't lack for volunteers ever. No, Scotty, you know, I, I, I think it, it, there, there was, uh, you know, in, in part of our discussion beforehand, there, there was a conversation about providing an area um, of shade. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and we had discussed that and trying to get a tent. I mean, the thought was a, a bring a, maybe a smaller tent for, for a smaller uh, group. But if you noticed, I mean, people were just people that needed the shade were just kind of gravitating over to the east side of the, uh, you know, or, or trying to find shade from the trees. Yep. And, and I would say next time, if, 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 if we had to do it again, I would say um, we, we probably should find some type of, uh, um, tent for you know a, a, a portion of our you know that that may want some kind of uh, shade. I would also say that the one thing um, was the wind. Um, mm, yeah, I yeah, think the breeze I, helped. I, I think I would I, I would put the motions um, in a, in a binder with uh, with the, the the sleeves to keep everything from flying over. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we're, I mean, we're, we are, that splitting of the finest hair. Correct. Right. Good now. point. Right. You know, and, and again, I, I do think that I, I, if you, we have discussions at time about town meeting and is it the best way to do business? Um, maybe it's not. Um, but I also, it, I, I'd also like to repeat a quote that um, democracy is a worth, the worst form of government there is but it really does work sure Um, and and people and people need to participate and we got that participation so i'm thankful for that it's like any good relationship you know you all got to pitch in and work so sitting at the head table this would be my only commentary about it We, we have our notes about things the check-in, the logistics, we have documentation about the footprint, you know, what works, ADA requirements, in the ability to vote from afar using visual aids, that all worked out really, really well. But sitting at the head table, looking out across the way, uh, it was not lost on me that for the better part of 300 years, the residents of the towns of Sunderland have been having annual town meetings to discuss things that are both current, relevant, as well as important for the continued success of the town that gets lost. If you look at it as a single frame in a movie, this time, this year's town meeting was a single frame, you know, it's nearly 300 year movie. It's true. I, I did. I actually did think of one thing too. I think the, um, the colored cards worked very well. We might want yeah. to think about doing that on an ongoing basis just yep. because it, it gives you a good visual cue. Right. That, yeah. that worked out nicely. And I think the monitor liked it also, Dave. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think it makes it easier for them. So, and we, at the next town meeting, if we choose to use that method, we should throw about five random bags <laughs> out in the crowd that <laughs> simply have one card that say, Mr. Moderator. They have to hold that up. Yeah. <laughs> we call that the, the, only... Wal the Walter Strozik card, Tom. Yeah. The Strozik card. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is, is we may want to change the colors. Well, or just keep in mind that if the moderator happens to ever be colorblind, yeah, fair. That could pose a problem. Sure. Then it'd sort of be like, you know, dark okay. gray or light gray. <laughs> but put, put in a requirement that the moderator not be uh... <laughs> be colorblind. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jeff, any comments on your first uh, Sunderland town meeting besides all of the work that goes into it? No, no. I just want to echo what all of you have said. There, there was a lot of work from by staff and volunteers and. One thing um, on Tom's comment about the wind was uh, the, that the fire chief selflessly sacrificed himself to, <laughs> to save town meeting members, and I didn't want that to go. It was appreciated. Time. You're right. Um, I think it was no, I, foot. I, you know, I think it was really hot out, and I was really impressed with the number of people who showed up. I think it was um, – more than half would typically show up. And I think that right. the, the numbers have been depressed across the state for town meetings, especially outdoors. So I, I just thought it was, it was great. I think Good the points, town said there was only about 12 or so off of last year's attendance, which was inside. So right. it was good. I, I just think it was funny when you looked at the governor's uh, executive order that came, or the, the actually a bill that went through the House and Senate just signed that they allowed uh, the quorum in a town, they allowed the quorum to be reduced by 90%. So only 10% of the quorum would be needed for a town meeting to occur. I just thought, and, after, and again, after seeing what we had at our town meeting and, and actually what Deerfield had at theirs, I guess they, they, don't, uh, they don't come out west that often to see how we participate because if they did, they wouldn't need to wouldn't have to. wouldn't need to write that down. No. Right. Good point, Tom. Good point. Participation is never really a problem around here. Although we want to ensure to encourage more and more of it with every year. That's right. Okay. So uh, next up, uh, can we have uh, EMD talk about emergency updates, and then Jeff can weigh in on anything. We know we've moved into phases now. We're in a new phase here. Uh, I see the EMD is there listening. What's going on, EMD? It's exciting, I believe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some semblance of normalcy is coming back. Um, you know, restaurants are allowed now with outside seating. It's 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 a good thing. There's some retail stores opening back up. Um, I'm sort of my questions today were I was wondering how long we're going to continue in the state of emergency. I haven't heard other towns undeclaring yet, but I don't know what the procedure is for that. Mm -hmm. um, other than well, that, well, well Lori, we, Lori, we'll probably take our we'll we'll take the lead from the we'll take the lead of the governor yep. on that. Um, and, and and just so you know, I and and we haven't said a lot, but the board has uh, uh, written uh, an executive order also that we sent out to all of the um, the restaurants in town that basically says that we are going we're allowing them to be creative in their outdoor spaces to to contact us with a plan um we will have the board of health uh, everybody that needs to review it um in our in, in so that we can try to help them as much as possible so so we have written that we have written that letter. It is in things. Basically, it suspends uh, enforcement of the uh, zoning bylaws right now to try to get the, to try to give a um, a hand up to our restaurants in town, so maybe they can start opening up their uh, outdoor seating capacity. Um, and, 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 and again, expand on it too. No. And expand, yeah. Be, and, and we've already, um, Jeff, Jeff, we talked, uh, Jeff and I talked earlier, and we've had one, one uh, 
uh, restaurant already talked to us about expanding what they have for seating right now. Um, so they're, they're going to be submitting a plan to us really quick. Um, and, and again, if, if we, we don't, we want to be inclusive. So if someone, if a business or something wants, uh, need something to, to, they just let us know as soon as possible. And we'll try, I mean, we're still meeting every week. I don't think we're changing that right now. And, and if it's in between meetings, we can, you know, we can work with Jeff and we'll make it happen. So that, that's our, that is our goal. That's great. You know, I, I completely agree. I think it's good. Anything we, the town can do to support them is, is fantastic. So on the weekly call, I'm sorry, last week you said uh, they're actually suspending the weekly calls? Yes. Got it. Okay. So no new updates with respect to the state outside of the governor's uh, no. phase two information right. and the folks in the emergency, in the emergency business are uh, seeing the need trail off enough to postpone or to forego uh, meetings on a weekly basis. Yes. The one thing we are, I am still getting a call every day from Mima, and the new question is, um, does your town know, or do you know of any protests planned in your town? They ask me that every day. Okay. Um, so Just because they want to keep my numbers. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So if anybody hears it, feel free to text me and let me know so I can keep it updated. Pass those on. Okay. Well, great. Thanks so much, EMD. It's nice to have it on this level with a little less panic and a little less chaos. I like it. Definitely. It's a good All thing. Right. Thank Thanks so much. Uh, yep. Jeff, anything on the administrative side for emergency update? Um, just the right now, the town office building is, is still closed to the public. If you need mm -hmm. to come in, um, something you can't do online or by telephone, we can make an appointment and trying to accommodate that. Um, we are looking at trying to reopen the playgrounds. Is that something that's allowed in phase two um, and, and doing a, a plan and looking at the state guidance for, for cleaning the playgrounds? Um, and we're coming up, you know, there's safety mandates that we have to be able to adhere to before we open to the public. Um, we submitted the CARES Act municipal fund request uh, on Thursday, last Thursday. Um, and all I got in response was a thank you page on the website, no email yet. So I'm going <laughs> to follow up to make sure that they got it. They actually extended the deadline um, totally. on Wednesday, but we were prepared and I figured it was better to get it in and hopefully mm -hmm. get that money in soon. Um, but we're going to start doing things like um, purchasing the countertops, the plexiglass mm -hmm. um, and, and developing the plan. We need plans for, sanitization, cleaning surfaces, uh, putting up signage for social distancing. So right now getting all of that in place so that when we do uh, reopen to the public, it, it's done in a, a manner that's consistent with, with best practices. So Jeff, as I look at the building, right, we've got a couple of rooms that are core rooms. Is there any reason we can't just limit the business that's public business to the core rooms and invite the staff from their offices to the core rooms and then that being the general public out of the offices um outside of meetings that i, I understand i'm i think i'm i'm, I'm right now i'm just th thinking out loud yep and and i think that the challenge with that is going to be there's a limitation of 25 percent occupancy and that's by office slash room yep so, so there would be so you could create a bottle might only be yep. allowed to have two people in the core yep. room got it uh, got it got it yep so okay i understand we're trying to uh, bring at least one person into the office to do their business yep yep um, so that somebody could be so, so jeff i mean yeah. we, the way i look at it also is the rooms are all pretty much all the off, all the rooms have in and outs yep right um, so if, if we could set it up so that um, we could have bring the traffic in one door out the you know out the other door and mm -hmm. and also I mean we could have you know we could use the uh, like we had at the uh, the voting check-in for town meeting we could set up those barriers those little rope barriers and 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 put one desk with a shield on it so people 
if you needed to talk or pass information, it could be, I think we can, I think we can make it happen. I just, yep. you just yep. have to be creative. One of right. the challenges with that is one of the best practices is one way always basically. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we can Your do traffic flow the entry and exit. Mm -hmm. um, and, <clears throat> and again, setting up. So we're going to come up with a plan. We'll certainly present it to the select board and, and let you guys um, look at it. You're much more familiar with the building than I am. Um, so your input's greatly appreciated. Um, but just talking to staff and figuring out how, how that's going to work. Um, but any other ideas, please, please let, let me know. We'll, we'll incorporate them. Excellent. Cool. You could probably, yeah. I'm, I'm actually sitting out in the hallway. You could have them come right in the front door, kind of behind me, and then exit out the back. We but, talked about that. The challenge with that is that the um, is elevator is in the back. Is in the back, right. yeah. yeah. So That's I think true. we were thinking about making that the main entrance, and then everybody who could would exit. Goes out the front. Yeah. Yep, that would work too. And you have nice. good sight lines out here too, so. So over the next the next few uh, uh, working days, uh, plan will get developed. Uh, we'll talk about that. Maybe we'll have a draft for our next agenda. Any other discussion about state of emergency? Okay, not hearing any. Any uh, select board updates? Um, Scott, last uh, Thursday, I had a uh, South County EMS meeting. And we were talking about a Deerfield article about how they, um, because of the rent for the building. So we spent all, most of our meeting discussing the rent and how it pays and where, how it is paid and where it goes and what it's using, used for. Mm -hmm. um, so we will be back discussing that in September. Um, right now, Deerfield, has set up a um, a cap a capital account, um, so it would need a two thirds vote. It's a stabilization capital account that needs two thirds vote to get the money out, and that's seventy five percent of the budget. Twenty five percent of the the rent goes to um, kind of like their general fund, and we're trying to figure out. Um, with with the town, how, how how what that percentage should actually be, and the the how it works. We we think we have a plan. I think Deerfield has a plan. So that probably the biggest thing you're going to be hearing from us. Um, also, I would just like to let everyone know that Zach said um, Zach is our director um, that the last two months, two and a half months, the number of calls have gone down significantly. And, and, and we average like two and a half to three runs a day. And there was one period they were going two or three days without a single call. Hmm, really? And, well, he, and, and he just wants to, he wanted, he wanted to let everyone know um, that the ambulance are cleaned after every run. Um, that that if they if there's another call coming while they're being dispatched that they they have three ambulances that the ambulances get swapped out and if you happen to go to a hospital right now you're probably not going to find a cleaner facility than a hospital right. um, because of all the work with the infection control people and everything and um, so a lot of times they get there and there's always been a portion of the thing that would refuse ambulance. But now they, they're getting a higher a higher number of refusals about taking the ambulance too. So if if that happens, they actually will um, have a doctor. They will communicate with a doctor at the emergency room to have them work to hmm. talk to the patient. So um, he again, if if you need if you need the service, the service is running. The service is clean. The service is disinfected. Um, don't hesitate because your health is, is, is important. And, and we have the services, we have the people that are standing by and, and take advantage of this. The, Good point, also, the, the South Saint, South County senior center, um, they were up over 200 meals last week. 
Wow. Um, 44 of those meals went to uh, Sunderland residents. Um, 27 went to Whiteley residents with a balance going to uh, Deerfield. So we, we are making, uh, we, are, we are doing really well with the meals as well. Nice. Thanks, Tom. David, anything? Um, I was supposed to have a Union 38 meeting last week, but that one got canceled. So I haven't heard um, when when we be starting that back up again yet. So, okay. Was it? Uh, I've got uh, negotiations for the police starting this week. So that'll be it for me. Um, Jeff, what's cooking in the world of town administrating? <laughs> well, um, on Wednesday, there were, well, this evening, uh, Code Red alert went out to inform residents that on Wednesday, uh, there will be paving on South Plain and North Plain roads. So I just wanted to put that on, on everybody's radar. Also, the Open Space and Recreation Committee is looking to have a public meeting um, to start getting input from the public on June 18th. Um, that's going to be a, a Zoom meeting. Um, and on June 29th, we have a poll hearing scheduled. Um, oh, good. That's right. Um, yeah. So the advertisement's going to be going out next Monday or published next Monday in the newspaper. Um, and people should also keep their eyes out for the municipal energy aggregation information um, that's going to be coming down the pike. Um, we have a lot of information that we'll put on the website about the different opt-ins, uh, the default option, um, sort of a, a sample information packet that they're going to receive in the mail if they're a basic service customer, um, and, and try and get all of that information up as quickly as possible um, so that, that people are prepared. Nice. That'd be great. So now the town meeting's over, we can really get back to work. Exactly. Yeah, you've been some coasting, Scott, for the last few weeks. Yeah, <laughs> right. That was that was not an assertion on my part. That was that was more encouragement to oh, you know, rec recognize. Okay, so our next meeting is June 15, twenty twenty. Uh, we have time for public comment. I don't want to discount that. Oh wait, Scott, I have something. I'm sorry, is this public comment? Huh? Yeah. I can't, <laughs> I can't hear you very well tonight. Um, oh. I just wanted to give a shout out to the election workers. Lucille and the warden, uh, our very own Catherine Hand, Jennifer Uncles, and Molly Wickline uh, did an outstanding job. Um, and I really appreciate their professionalism. And they were really right on. It, it was it was great, and we had uh, Brenda Teslowski and Benny. I'm not going to say his name right. Fabo, um, as police officers, and it it went well. And I thank them a lot. Excellent. And you're right. They had one of those hidden things is the contribution of individual in specific roles. Elections really only work well with clarity and solid staff. So thanks. Hey, hey that. Scott, yeah. Scott, when, it, it's, when, when I listened to the national debate about uh, um, yeah. people voting and stuff, I said, boy, they never talked to our town clerk. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Oh, I've, yeah. I'm, I'm, right. I'm kind of the same way, having worked a couple of yeah. elections myself. It's like, <laughs> what part don't they understand? Oh, maybe they've yeah. never done it before. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I, I would say that if you're looking at voter fraud, uh, you're not looking in small towns, that's for sure, because not from what I've seen. Great point. Great point. Jeff, we have a correspondence if, if, ready to sign to go out to everybody who helped me. Oh, sure. Hey, Greg. Howdy. Um, so it went unremarked at the uh, town meeting, but uh, not unnoticed uh, that you guys voted yourselves out of a salary uh, due to the ongoing crisis. And for all the work you do, that compensation is, of course, really just a token. But, uh, 
you know, I know the next year is going to be tough as well, but I, I think it, uh, hopefully that won't become a tradition because uh, you guys do put in a lot of work as well and <clears throat> certainly deserve that, that uh, token of esteem and more. We, we're trying to get us paid as much as a school committee member. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Greg, Greg, thank you. And I, I, I think for us, it was just, it was just, it was some, sometimes we have to make it's, it's important for us to, to lead. Um, and we, I personally, I still think the next year is going to be a very difficult year. Um, and I, I think it just represents, it just represents, um, our belief that we'll try to, whatever has to happen in our town, we're, we're, we're ready to, we're, we will try to make it happen. And trust me, I, I, we, we've had people talk to us about it was a stupid thing to do, but I, I'm actually proud. I'm very proud that, uh, I, I'm, I serve on a board with two other members that, um, they put the town first at every turn. I'm, I'm very proud of, of, of David and Scott and the, the way we all work together. But thank you, Greg. I'm very much a great. Yep. Okay, any other public comments? All right, not hearing, not hearing any. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 There we are. Seven. So David, this is the this is the new land speed record for you. Call us out yeah. at seven oh seven. <laughs>